Hey guys, Harry here, back again with another Brit Lane vlog. Uh, if you can hear some jingly bells, that's the two kittens running around. They've got collars on, just so the missus could, uh, well, me and the missus could hear them where they were running about. So they've got little bells on, so apologise if you hear some scratching around. They're both running around mad playing. Uh, so it's part two on the boundary wall. Uh, as I said last video, this was only a one day job, but I got. I've got four videos worth of footage on this wall, so and that's not even uh, topping it off. So this will be just getting this panel up. Uh, so uh, look forward to about the next six videos being this wall, I think. I'm going to do some recording tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to probably try and get two voiceovers done tonight. And then... Uh, I'll have enough footage, enough space on my phone to get some more footage tomorrow on this wall. Uh, it'll be easier actually because I can prop the camera up on some bricks, which obviously the wall already be built, so I can get in, you know some good angles uh, on doing some tar brick on edge for you guys. I reckon I've got about two days on this wall to top it off because there's only uh, there might be like three or four course on. On the low side maybe up as much as, as much as five course so maybe a little bit longer than two days i'm not quite sure and then obviously all the, the tile tops and uh you know the pillar tops and stuff uh, and, and brick on edge i'll have a look at it obviously we've got a scaffold up on it now all the way around so uh hopefully we we'll get all the gear up tomorrow in the morning while i'm building some pillars and then i might and get the tiles on and then I'll just have brick on edge to do. I tend to do, when I'm doing tile brick on edge, I tend to lay all the tiles at once on one day, point them underneath, point point between the two two slits of tiles. And then on the second day, I tend to just put the brick on edge on all in one go because I can get I can get about three panels of brick on edge to, on and three tops in a day on my own uh, easily, uh, especially with the right 40 driver. Uh, so and especially if the gears already loaded as well, I, I think my I think my I think my PB I'm doing tiles solo. Well, uh, brick and edge solo is about three panels and three tops, with the tiles already done. Obviously, self load out on my own. So there is one, two, three, four panels on this wall, but two are really small. So I reckon I could get. If I can get all the brickwork up to height tomorrow, I reckon I can get, and some tiles on, I reckon I can get it done in, yeah, I could definitely, with only one, two, three pillars on it, I reckon I could do the three pillar tops, and the, and at least three, three panels, you know, maybe I, maybe I might have to finish something off in the morning, depending on how long I work, I've, I've been, I've been backing off a little bit on the, uh, <coughs> on the hours, I've been normally starting around, laying my first brick at around quarter to nine, packing up around quarter to four, uh, so with an hour snap in there, so quarter to nine till normally quarter to 12, so it's quarter to 10, three hours there, I have an hour snap, uh, quarter to one, then I wait till quarter to four, so two, three, four, so I've been doing, I've been doing like six hours of work a day with an hour snap, so I've been spending like seven hours on site, seven and a half. Uh, where I used to be doing probably an hour more than that uh, on average because I was starting half an hour earlier and I was probably finishing half an hour later uh, to 45 minutes so I've been I've been normally doing probably instead of doing six and a half hours on the trowel I was probably doing close to eight so I was working an extra hour and hour and a half a day um, so yeah it's you know it's, I've been backing off over this last few days after after the holiday and you with the heat as well you can't do the same amount of hours in the heat as you can when it's you know cooler weather so i've been still being able to make you know good money but at least better than day work with those hours so you know i'm not i've not been trying to push the envelope too much just because i just get burnt out a little bit on the weekends i just tend to feel tired too tired and i want to get back into training as well so i've set my program up for getting back into powerlifting but it's going to be very light uh, i've set my training maxes a good 20 30 percent of what they were at least so uh 
I'm going to start deadlifting again. If you want to check out any of me, my weight training footage, I've got my personal Instagram at HGVegan on Instagram, or you can follow the After 8 Bricky on Instagram, and I'll be there posting a few things on my story, and I'll save the story to my profile. So if there's any training sessions and stuff I'm doing, um, obviously it all goes, it all, it's, you know, I know it's not Brit Lane related, but it's, if anyone's interested in, you know, guy, you know, guys training outside of, you know, just doing lane bricks every day, which is taxing enough. Laying six, seven, eight hundred bricks in a day, it's fucking, it's hard enough. It's hard enough, you know. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's an absolute right graft to lay those those numbers, you know. Let alone guys who are, you know, laying a thousand bricks a day. You've, you, you know, the thousand bricks a day takes takes nine, ten hours on the job in a day to lay you know if you're spending eight eight nine hours walling you've got to be laying like 120 bricks an hour, 110 bricks an hour 120 bricks an hour which is doable but it's not it's it's hard to keep up and it's hard to be consistent doing that so uh it's you know my my pb 950 i was absolutely going like the clappers that day to uh to lay that many bricks so it's you know it's one of them things that it's uh, you know it's not achievable every day, but you know if you can, if you can average five six hundred bricks a day, you're doing fantastic. You you know you're at the top one percent of bricklayers, uh, you know laying at that speed. I don't care what anyone says. There's not many guys doing over six hundred bricks in a day. Uh, I don't care who you are. You count up how much you've been doing. You're not going to be topping. You're not going to be topping six or seven hundred bricks every day, uh, or you're in the top. You know, one two percent of bricklayers, um, and then the guys who can do a thousand bricks a day, top half a percent, definitely. So, <clears throat> anyway, the um, beer I'm drinking tonight. I've gone to the shop and they had Cobra on special offer. Uh, so I've got Cobra, something that you normally have with curries. So what they sell in Indians, you know, if you go for average Indian, um, they normally sell, they normally sell Cobra. If that's the only beer they normally sell. So yeah, it's been, uh, it's really nice actually, really nice. Uh, I always had my misgivings thinking this might taste like shit, but it's probably a, t it's just, it tastes a bit more like Moretti if I'm quite honest. I was drinking Moretti earlier uh, in the week. I had some Moretti's last night, and these taste just like Moretti, very close to. So yeah, um, today's topic's gonna be a bit of a shorter one. You know, I haven't got as much of a uh, of a topic for today's video, but if if I could touch on anything, it'd be um, the art of staying calm and not rushing. Uh, it's one of the things that uh, when you're laying bricks. And if you're, especially if you're on price, but this can happen when you're on day work as well. Uh, I find uh, when you're on price and you're starting a new site or you're starting a new type of work or a new job or a new plot, you tend to say, right, let's have a good go at it. Let's try and make it pay. Let's have a, you know, let's have a good day's graft at it. And you start to, you know, start inadvertently rushing in a sense, especially if, you know, you get delayed with, you know, fault if driver or, you know weather and stuff like that you know you tend to rush a little bit and i've fallen it fallen into the trap for years of rushing and as soon as you start rushing you become incredibly inefficient you know and what i mean by that is you'll start you know taking more effort to lay each brick you'll be making little mini mistakes every time while you're rushing and they'll be slowing you down like you'll be especially like on block work if you start rushing laying blocks you'll start laying blocks forgetting your tie wires banging tie wires in then getting to the middle letting your joints drift a little bit you know floating perps and then you'll be chipping chipping bits off blocks and when like especially in boundary walls as well like i'm guilty of this sometimes i'll get to the last course or i'll rush the last two course on or i'll get or i won't necessarily rush or I'll, but i'll be trying to get finished off as you call it just get finished get it just want to i just want to get it finished off you know that, that saying you hear a lot of the time and I'll end up getting to the last course, especially on a boundary wall, where every course before that is work bricks, lovely perps. I'll have rushed, I'll have grabbed a couple of big bricks and not noticed my perps getting, uh, you know, being a bit out of whack. And I'll get to the middle and I'll have to clip a brick, you know, I'll have to, you know, take 20 mil off of a brick. 
and slide it in. It isn't too much of an issue with these heritage brakes because, as anyone knows, uh, you know, a lot of the times the frog style bricks can be very widely variant in size. Same with any brick, brick, brick type, to be honest, but it's it's less noticeable in the heritage variant because obviously the irises are more round and they, they're not as a, they're not as square of a brick. Uh, but it's definitely more noticeable when you've got more square semi engineering brick, where you can really see the uh, really see the iris when you point up, uh, and it's more pronounced where you can tell you've clipped a brick here and there. So um, it's one thing that, that's what I end up doing when I'm rushing. Um, I end up getting less done as well. I get loads less done when I rush. If I start rushing, uh, my speed probably halves. Uh, if I'm, you know, if I get start getting frustrated or pissed off with the work, so it's definitely, you know, if you're gonna undertake a job, and right from the start, right from just turning up, you're not, you're not impressed with it. It's probably not the best thing to carry on and do it because even if, you know, you come to some work and you know you're not and you're not enjoying it or it's or it's you know or the price isn't right or something's not right with it you know you're best stopping and uh and doing something else and not doing the work because if you're going to be pissed off if you're going to you know not be not be calm when you're doing the work you're going to not go you don't get half as much done and that's what i tend to do you know if i start doing a job something isn't right or there's something in my way or i'm frustrated with something a lot of the time i'll finish early i'll I'll work through and use the motor I've got, and I'll sometimes do half a day if I get frustrated with something. Very rare that happens, but you know, everyone has the days, the lack of sleep and stuff like that. I tend to do half a day. Uh, I tend to go home at like half 11 or something like that. And then I come back and with a fresh head, you know, have another eight hours sleep, nine hours sleep, come back and look at it again on a fresh day if I'm getting frustrated or, you know, something ain't gone right in the day. Because there, there's times where you go on jobs and just stuff it going your way, you know, something holds you up hour after hour, you know, it's one thing after another. Uh, or if, you know, management has pissed you off by telling you to go do something or, or I need you to go on this tomorrow or something like that and you just, your head's not in it, it's best to just, you know, wrap it up and, uh, and you know, have a fresh perspective on it the next day. There's nothing worse than getting, coming home from work frustrated and pissed off. Uh, it's something that will just lead to you lead to your week going downhill i've had it before where we had it a little bit last week where we got uh, the other two week ago where we started on the footings and we had to go to another site and do a bit of patching for a day you know we just on that day that we were we were going to go off we just wrapped it up early we said right well we've had our first day you know we we did basically almost half a day because we thought well uh, you know we're we're not happy with the service we're getting here with us with us gear weren't happy with the out, man, out, how it was supervised and set up for us with the drawings. So we just said, all right, we'll wrap up early today and uh, you know, we'll try again uh, ne next time we're on this job. And you know, it went better. We went better on a second out footings and, and uh, it's something we'll want to do again. Like, like I said from the last footing video, uh, our plot did actually get taken over by another gang, which I knew it would. Uh, I did say to the supervisor that I welcome anyone taking over it because I was going on all day and, you know, if they need it done, they need it done. And the, uh, you know, someone did take over, they took over at Splash Course Heights, so they had a course of block and splash to do. They, st they were still doing it at like four o'clock today as I was driving off with the old man. So, uh, you know, good luck to them. You know, uh, it, it was Staffordshire Blues, so something that you know not a not a great brick to lay uh but i've we've uh, we've been offered some more footings on another job that started in a week or two uh that's only about 10 min 10 minutes further away from the, my house than this job so this site's around 25 minutes um in good traffic you know driving at normal sensible speeds uh so this job is about an extra 10 minutes further, 10 or 15 minutes. It's about 40 minutes from his house, which is about his limit. 40 minutes to 45 minutes is his limit. Um, we, I worked on a job that were about 40, 45 minutes away from my house for a good year. And it, it was all right, it was manageable, definitely. So this site that we're on at the moment is sort of the ideal distance, about 25 minutes, but I don't mind 40. 40 is you know, not bad, especially if the work's in front of us. So yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's the video. You know, my little little touch on the uh, on rushing and stuff like that, and I'll stay calm. 
just you know my little an anecdote on the on the matter and um yeah that's the video so if you guys have enjoyed please hit the like button leave us a comment to let us know what you think uh, and if you want to stay up to date with the content subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily brick lane vlogs um i've put the boundary the retaining wall in my garden on hold since i've got a few more things i need to do uh my washer broke the other day so i need to buy one of them at weekend and i just with all this heat and we went we've been on all day you know we've got quite a bit of stuff to do in house and i just want to spend time with with the young'un as it as it's coming up to his birthday his big number two so uh the retaining walls on hold for about i'd say about two months and then i'll be back at it with that getting a mixer and stuff but i'll be resuming them videos as soon as i get back on to doing the wall uh and digging that footing out but if i do do it make any progress on it i will record so uh yeah that's about it thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you tomorrow with another rick lane vlog